What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Sayaku, and today I'm going to show y'all the best ammo mod augments in today's video. Before we do get straight into the video, I do want to say I appreciate all y'all for the likes and subs and the, all the support I've been getting on my recent videos, especially on my last augment video that hit 2,000 views at the middle of recording this video. I appreciate all of that. Let's talk about one thing in this game that wasn't in the last game or the game before that or the game before that, aka being MW3, uh, Black Ops Cold War, and Black Ops 3. This game now has Shadow Rift, which is basically like a new kind of Aether portal in your hands to put in perspective. Alright, enough chit chat, let's go ahead and get into the ammo mods and what augments you will want to equip, 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 it's all these are also personal opinions, some of these can change from player to player, as for me, I'm a high round kind of guy, I'm normally the medic, and sometimes I like to speed run here and there, as you can tell from my videos that I've posted. As you can already tell in the video, from my major augment, I run plague, and from my minor augment, I run extension. Both of these I like because with Plague, I of course I play solo. With Plague, it charms the enemies, which means that other enemies can turn into other brain rotted zombies. And so that's like more players on your team that lasts for a certain amount of time when you have the extension on top of it. So it's technically not a monkey bomb, but just teammate zombies. Now, of course, if you don't want to run the Plague or the Extension, you can run Pharaohmon or Haste. Those two are pretty good. I like both of those. With Haste, the Brain Rot cooldown is slightly reduced, which means you can spam more Brain Rot into the enemies. And Pharaohmon, the Charmed Enemy distracts nearby normal and special elites. They say enemies, but it's elites for a short amount of time. But with that, that means that Pheromon is a walking monkey bomb. So Plague and Pheromon, I would advise for you to run those two. And for minor augments, extension or haste, explosive, it's alright at best. All it does is deal more damage after the explosion. And big game, you can already do that without the major augment. Next on the list for our ammo mods is going to be, of course, Cryo Freeze. Now with Cryo Freeze, Cryo Freeze is a big game changer you can either run ice cloud you can run freezer burn there's a lot of things that you can run with cryo freeze that will sit there and regardless of your play style would be amazing now as you can see in the video of course for me obviously major augment i want to run ice cloud and for minor augment i want to run freezer burn with ice cloud enemies that are killed while frozen may leave a cloud that slows enemies which means if you have a big group while you're training this will slow down all the zombies in that said big group and with minor augment freezer burn slightly increases the damage to frozen enemies which means the damage that you put into them and from the frozen enemy will just it just does more damage simplest way to put it no matter if you shoot them or if they're frozen now for major augments the main two you want to run or to equip is big game or ice cloud frozen stiff which just freezes the animes enemies in place kind of a 50 50 you can run it if you like to have enemies just completely frozen but for the most part ice cloud and big game are the two major augments you want to run and for minor augments all three of them all three of them you could run it, it does not matter your play style one slightly increases the slow duration one slightly increases damage to frozen enemies and liquid nitri nitrogen significantly significantly increases your chances for cryo freeze to activate so all these are great for minor augments next ammo on the list is the good old classic dead wire dead wire in this game is all right at best i want to say it's as good as bo3s but it's definitely better than the nerf version we have in cold war and dead wire is say, say it's in the middle that's the best way to put it but of course you're here for the augments not my opinion so for major augments you want to run big game which dead wires can stun elite enemies which it does more of a stun than it already does and i like to calm down mangler spamming and liberty falls or in terminus or possibly in the next map avalon that was supposed to be getting soon in season one december 11th and minor augment haste which dead wire cooldown is slightly reduced now for major augments personally you can run either just big game or chain lightning 
Lightning Strike, as you can see, I have not researched, but I've already used it before on different accounts and whatnot. Not accounts with an S, just an account. It strikes a lightning bolt from the skies and stuns all normal and special enemies in the area, which means that if you have them all trained up, that's what it's supposed to do. It just strikes a lightning strike straight down once you're shooting your gun, of course. But personally, that's what Deadwise is supposed to do regardless. It's supposed to already stun a huge horde of zombies, so you either can run Chain Lightning instead of Lightning Strike, or you can run Big Game, which is why I like to run. And now, for Minor Augments, literally, it's like it's like Brain Rot all over again. You can either run High Velocity, or not Velocity, Voltage, which is Deadwire does more damage, Haste cools down the Deadwire, and extension means the stun and electric field lasts longer. So literally, you can run any minor augment for dead wire again. Second to last on the list, of course, is the Flame Man itself, Napalm Burst. And Napalm Burst in this game is pretty great for the most part. It's amazing for mangler spamming and just the big guys overall in this game. Now let's go ahead and go over the major augment that I run, which is of course big game. As I was saying, it helps with dealing with elite enemies and that's what a lot of the speedrunners i assume at least have been running with their gs45 pistols pack a punched so if you want to figure out what that is it should most likely be big game and if it's not please correct me in the comment section down below and minor augment i like to run the contract burn which initial burn effect deals more damage now one thing i didn't mention about napalm burst is that you could run it all Major augments or minor augments for Napalm Burst. Napalm Burst doesn't have a bad side effect to it. If you run this, then you're losing out on this. No, it is just, it's great. Now, you might not want to run Thermite, but it's still amazing to run. Firebomb is also amazing to run. The Firebomb burn enemies explode on death, spraying the fire to nearby enemies, which is definitely way better than toxic damage because Napalm has more of a burn effect than toxic effect you know what i'm saying and for minor augment you could run anything maybe not the second one i don't know how to pronounce that correctly so you know excuse me i like to run contract burn which is better than that one but like i said you could run any of these for minor augments extension you could run contract burn you could run firebomb thermite big game it's in a day, which is I believe it's pronounced as. I'm going to try it. And yeah, that's it. And now last, but definitely not least, the most fun one out of all the ammo mods, which is Shadow Rift. And as you already know, I mentioned before, this is tangly like a dark aether in your hands. And let's go over the ma major augment, which is what I like to run is explosive rain. Enemies that are dropped from the ground or the portal to be exact will explode on contact with the ground and it's basically just a nuke in your hands <laughs> that's all explosive rain is it is a nuke in your hands minor augment i like to run haste which shadow rift cools down is reduced and that's why i feel like it's the perfect combo between these two now like always as i said before you can run something different but that to me is the perfect combo now for major augments I wouldn't advise to run big game because this is one of those ammo mods and stick drift just has to interrupt me. Thanks, man. Major augment, as I was saying, big game. I don't think you would want to run that because it already works extremely well for all zombie types, no matter if it's the big guys, no matter if it's the little ones or just normal zombies. This is perfect as it is without big game. Now, topple danger. It's also another good one that you might want to run. It warps one enemy that deals shadow damage to other nearby zombies. Normal enemies are knocked down while special enemies are stunned. So this is great for the later rounds like round 31 plus, which will of course stun the big guys, aka the special enemies, and normal zombies will be knocked down. So the trouble or not trouble, topple danger, it could be great if you don't have explosive rain or don't want to run it. Now, minor augment, I like to run haste as I've already said targeted which will drop enemies or dropped enemies will fall on other enemies which is pretty cool it does enemies to the you know the ones that are running but like i said haste is probably gonna be better than that and 
super massive, the singularity lethal radius is increased and can kill more enemies. Which, what this means is that more enemies will die on impact. And really, it's up to you if you want to run that. I'm not going to tell you. But haste, as I've already said, is better for me. And yeah, that's it. As always, like and subscribe. Share this video out to other people who need this. And yeah, I'll catch you on the next video. Um, later, YouTube. Thank you.